Renate Unterberg, Clara Blume, Lilith Worth, an interview with Kitty in a casket, and product tests and our album tips, of course. Welcome to rockvideos.at on air. In today's episode, we've got Clara Blume, Lilith Worth and Renate Unterberg's live footage from the latest singer-songwriter circus at the famous jazz club Porgy and Bess in Vienna. Our interview with Kitty in a Casket led us backstage at the Teenage Riot Festival, the biggest punk festival in town. We also tested some of the industry's coolest recording and production gear. Our product tests are conducted by seasoned professionals and well-known artists, so they definitely know their shit. Lastly, we will present all the latest news from the Austrian's music scene and the featured albums of the month. Our soul sensation Lilith just returned from a video shoot in New York City. We caught up with Lilith last week at the Donau Kanal Treiben for an update. Hello, my name is Lilith. I am a singer songwriter and pianist from Vienna. And I'm gonna release my debut album and single in 2014. And I'm looking forward to playing and singing all around the world. And yeah, that's it. I think it's pop music with an edge, with a twist. Um, through the fact that I'm playing the piano, it's a lot like it's very much singer-songwriter in influenced, but it still it still has very heavy beats and like very it has a very strong structure, so you can dance to it, but you still can just sit and watch and listen. Yeah. It sort of happens to me. I always have to be inspired and I just sit down and play the piano, jam a bit, and then I record it and then I work on it and. One month later, it's going to be finished. This is like yeah. what I love to do. It's just improvising and let it come to me very naturally and very, how do you say, like very organically, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no. 
sounds there. And now for our first product test. Hi, my name is Florian from Scope Audio in Vienna and I welcome you together with Rock Videos AT on air to my studio. Today we are going to take a closer look at the Neumann TLM 103. It is a large diaphragm condenser cardioid microphone. We are gonna test it with vocals and with some acoustic guitar, but you can use it on almost anything. It is designed for various purposes, but of course, like every microphone, it has some unique characteristics. The microphone comes in the classic Neumann design, like almost every other large diaphragm Neumann microphone. It comes together with a shock mount, and today we are going to plug it in to a Universal Audio 4710D tube microphone preamplifier and we are going to record in Pro Tools. It is very important to choose the right microphone for the right purpose because when I get the signal as it should be in the beginning, I have much less work in post-production. For example, this microphone sounds very crisp because it has a boost in high frequencies. So the vocals are gonna be very much in front, in, up front in the mix without me having to do much work afterwards. So let's do some testing. Alongside my heart So take my flesh And fix my eyes A tethered mind Freed from the lights Will wait, I will wait for you Wait up. 
finished with the recordings and now we're here to listen to it and see what we got. The last chorus. Okay, so I think we can see here what we kind of expected, that uh, the voice has a very full sound, but it's also very crisp, so I don't have to do very much in the mix, because the voice is already very up front. I don't have to add much compression or equalizing. And yeah, I'm, I'm quite satisfied with the result, I have to say. We can also listen a little bit to the guitar. I think here it's kind of the same. The, 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 the body of the guitar sounds very round and at the same time so you, you, you really hear the, the strings very well with this um, crispness, <laughs> however you, you say it properly. <laughs> yeah, I think this is a pretty nice conclusion what, to what we did today. Thank you for being here. Thank you. And thank you for seeing. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. And yeah. <laughs> Renate Unterberg refuses to be categorized, labeled, or limited. His eclectic show carries shades of Tom Waits, but ultimately is impossible to define in so many words. See for yourself. I, I would describe it as a, as a wild mixture of a lot of styles, a lot of things that we like to play and we like to listen to. and. Uh, well, we play in very different uh, sets, actually, different people. We have a brass section on the one side and play funky rock tunes on the one side and sing a songwriter style and quiet stuff and ballads as well and try to figure out our very own style, which does not have a name yet, I guess. Well, I guess the, f the nice part of being on stage is that you actually can play with energy that you create as a musician, as, as a band, and that responds with the, with the audience. So if you play a good show and the audience is up to it, that's a really good, really nice feeling. And that's what we're striving for, actually, to make good energy in a room, in a club, or in a hall, wherever. And that's the, that's the thing why we're doing it. That's my favorite part, I guess. Actually, we're planning to release our album in November. So there's a new album coming on vinyl and CD and digital. We're going to release some two new singles until then. And we're actually going into the studio again in July to record the next album because there is so much material. So we actually work and work and working all the time. It's fun. It's good. But November is the new release. So check this out. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Still jumble in time, divinely got home. Alright, souls gather round the main fire to admire the gods. And as they share the sparkling insight, on my mind, I symbolize a leashless way. To pull the strings around my own neck to keep me so cold. 
soul A call upon the beer food I still jumble in time To finally get out A big me's building up their empire To admire their gut And as they share the sparkling insight On my mind I symbolize all these last fights Cause I know freaks will share that dance to spread the high of vision as they fly into the sky to drown the flow. Oh, let the freaks come out of tune to keep us all together forever. A twinkle toe. Let me take a closer look into these horses' eyes They are fixed to Let me see your past, but please know where you belong You shall not buy Our bright souls gather round the main fire To admire their guts And as they share the sparkling insight of my mind I symbolize at least last fight Cause I know Freaks will share their dance To spread the high of vision As they fly into the sky To drown the flow Let the freaks come out Now, Kitty in a Casket is one of Austria's hottest rock and roll exports. Believe me, I've seen them. We had the chance to meet them backstage at the Teenage Riot Festival. And here's the lowdown. Hello, we're, we're Kitty in a Casket. <laughs> we do have some rockabilly influences. We also listen to some rockabilly bands and psychobilly bands, but we ourselves were not really doing psychobilly. In our opinion, it's it's more punk rocky than anything else. But some people might think it's uh, psychobilly. But we ourselves, we wouldn't label us a psychobilly band. Well, our first show, I mean the first show we ever did was in Germany and not in Austria. Which is actually pretty weird because usually bands start in Austria and then go um, to other countries or something like that. But we started in Germany and Slovakia and well, we had a fan base before we even played live because we, we did a, a CD first. The greatest part of the fan base was in Germany. Yeah, we definitely plan uh, on writing a new album and then go back to the USA and tour again. And also we want to put together a tour here in Europe. There are some more gigs coming up. There's the WGT with Gothic Treffen in Leipzig. It's the second time we play there and we're really looking forward to playing there again. Uh, June the 9th. 9th. Yeah. 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 And also, I think in August we're in Munich, also at a, at a little festival. Yeah. 
And there's some stuff in between, yeah. So we, ha we have a few shows, but we really want to focus on writing songs again, so that's pretty good. <laughs> I think it's important to stay true to yourself and do what you want to do and not play music you, you don't really feel. Yeah, and then you just have to, to go with, with it. Like, and continue and not yeah. to back down. Yeah. You know, like Always continue, go through the hard times and just, yeah, just do it. Yes. Also in one person, you know, it's like all together. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, I'm usually the one going crazy at a point, but it's mostly because of him, because he's driving me mad. And then he calms everybody down and he's doing whatever. He's just uh, making weird jokes all the time. So he's the funny, the funny dude. Yeah. And Todd is like, yeah, he's chill. He's chill. He's like always, yeah, it's going to be all right. I can't remember. When the tire, I think. When the tire blew up, was yeah. Texas. I think that was in Texas. Yeah, it was really funny. I mean, we just had a car breakdown and we fixed everything, and then we got back on the road, and just like 20 minutes after that, the tire was. Uh, we blew the tire. Yeah, it, it's, and we were there in the middle of nowhere, and I don't know the two of them drank some beer so they were really happy in the in the hot sun and they they were <laughs> just, just freaking minutes, out yeah. yeah and i was sunbathing in a in a bikini and it was just a really weird situation i mean and he was on the phone with his girlfriend and he was like oh we're somewhere ha, 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 in the middle of nowhere ha, ha, ha. and it, it was just it was really weird we flooded the uh the uh pissoir. <laughs> and then, and then, walked, then no. walked away. That's a they were just like, we have to go, we have to go, we have to go. There's water coming out of heaven. We have to go now. And then we just. <laughs> mostly she has the, the fan moments. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I guys. I don't have any fan moments. In El Paso, there was a girl. I mean, she wrote me on the internet a few times, and she, she gave me this really nice present. She made a shirt for me with, with, I mean, it's with a picture of me on it, so it's weird to wear it, but it's really nice, and she, she put a lot of effort in it, and I was really, really happy, and she was, they were really sweet, I mean, yeah, it, it was just, it's really nice to receive presents, and they're so happy when, when you're happy about the presents, they're like, ah, oh. and I don't know, there were just so many people, like, that one father who came, and he was like, my daughter is a huge fan, but she can't be here, and... She, she gave me some, some, I mean, it was cereals or something. And this little girl, she wrote me, I mean, she was eight or nine or something like that. She wrote me a really sweet letter and telling me to enjoy the cereals and that she really loves me. And it was so sweet. And it, I mean, her father came to the show just to give me that little letter and everything. So it's just, it's amazing. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, probably I would. If if they don't if have anywhere to sleep, they could sleep at yeah, my place. In the garden. In the, in the garden, in the cold. I, I wouldn't mind, yeah. <laughs> no. If you want to get the toilet flooded, we can come. It's not, yeah. not, a, not a problem. Special it's not a big problem. Yeah. We played in, in Hamburg. Uh, he was sitting at the entrance, just relaxing after the show, and all people who... who come in, show the entry stamp to him, it was kind of funny. And he was like... <laughs> <laughs> it can be a really long sentence, right? <laughs> so, yeah, I'd say we're fun to be around. We love what we do and we do what we love. And we really enjoy every moment of every day we do something with the band and we really hope to do this for a very long time and yeah i hope a lot of people out there want to see our show and meet us and that would be really cool. this woman clara blume never fails to amaze with the caliber of artists that attend her singer songwriter circus on top of organizing the event, Clara herself took to the stage to play some songs of her upcoming album. Here are some words from the artist herself.
So the circus is actually a performing concerts concept. So we have different arts mingling together on one stage. We have clowns, we have improvisation artists, we have actors, um, famous actors, less famous actors, <laughs> everyone together mixed up with great music. And it's always just a fantastic show. So it's very entertaining and diverse and fun and different. I'm a singer songwriter myself. Um, my name is Clara Bloom. And um, yeah, what I do is avant-garde pop. So it's very sophisticated kind of pop. My brother Georg um, does all the arranges and he produces the record, which is going to be released in, we don't know yet, but I think it's still going to be 2014, crossing fingers, <laughs> but it's a very painful process to polish out the sound and stuff, but we're getting there. And um, tonight at the Porian Best, you're going to see like a little um, inside, inside of our production process. Salty sweat and plain drought Like a straight up wind for his rain cloud To arrive I barked and I bit Don't you know the reason I quit Is rather than be seen as unfit I'd move on Love and starve or live in sorrow Love and starve or live in sorrow Love and starve Take the left of what's the final frontier And then we'll know Love and starve or live and sorrow Love and starve or live and sorrow
our second product test will lead you further into the secrets of audio production. Hi everyone, welcome to all of you in front of your PCs or maybe Macintosh computers, you know, I, I do know the difference. I hope you washed your ears so you will be able to follow every single step we're going to be teaching you today. Uh, it's going to be a very interesting show for beginners and for professionals as well. So watch out, you might learn something. Now sit back and fasten your seatbelts and put your penis back in your pants, please. Don't get too excited. No reason for that. What we're going to be doing today is uh, I shall be showing you how to smoke a cigarette the right way. A lot of people think, okay, I'm going to put this in my mouth and light it here, which is the wrong way. You do it this way. Besides that, I'm going to be showing you my fabulous Oxygen 25. It is a trumpet or something. I haven't figured it out uh, so far, but um, it might come in very handy when producing electronic music with not too much effort and in a, on a cheap basis which I prefer as opposed to a lot of effort and a lot of expenses. Um, actually, as a matter of fact, um, I just produced a, a record for a major label using nothing but this and a Macintosh computer. That's all it takes. And bad taste, but you can't buy that. You have to look for that yourself. Mm. Okay, the Oxygen 25 is very obviously not made for piano players. Well, this comes, this is one of the few keyboards that comes with black and white keys, which makes them easier to tell apart. This little motherfucker, a laptop, and that's all you want. It doesn't look very impressive on stage, but if you need your equipment to look great on stage instead of yourself, you got a problem anyway. Quote. And the same thing goes for the keyboard. It does what it's supposed to do. 24 notes, even though 12 would do for me. One volume slide, and there's eight buttons to twiddle, even though I only need two, so I got six spare ones in, in case two break. I don't need this section, I need the transpose up and down, I don't need the track thing. And it's a good price too. That's very important for me. I like to spend a lot of money on drugs and alcohol, but the equipment should be cheap. <laughs> bam, 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 use several pads at the same time, but I can do, still do the same thing here. I'll put a bass, a kick, a, uh, a snare, hi-hat, open my hi-hat, whatever here, and then go hitting a, a, a long leg. Where is it? There, you know. Same thing as a trigger pad, pad or I don't see the difference. You can assign keys very easily. You just go to do the MIDI mode and then say, okay, I want this to be the first part, the second part, third part, a lot of parts. And one very good thing about it is it does not need extra electricity. You know, you don't need a power plug. It gets all the its power from the USB plug. I like that. So one cable less to, to drag around. It fits in my backpack. All right, okay, that's good enough for a start. Next, bass. Could be a song by now, but then I'll, let's see, use another part of the track. Activate, quantize. Thing. First thing before you copy anything, go back and edit. There. there. Go on and do stuff and you finally end up with something. Maybe. I want it exact, I want it programmed, because that's the kind of music I make. So. I'm, I'm heavily influenced by Kraftwerk, I guess. I'm a man machine. 
animal emission. sound very human or play anymore that's the way I wanted and I'll make it more melancholic or kitsch kind of thing ah, Ben Gillis kind of crap I love it put on layer layers and then yeah I use I'll use about anything tiles ping pong balls golf balls corkscrews change it. I mean, there's not a single instrument I can play, but I can break a lot of them and sample them. And it works too, I promise. Smash them, record it and run away. <laughs> That's how you do it. Industrial, uh, street tough way. You are listening to a Hover vacuum cleaner, whatever you prefer, with a tuned down plugged guitar string and some Minimoog. I just read the other day that John Lennon used to play banjo chords on his guitar because his mother taught him banjo and he thought it worked the same way on the guitar. So he got a very unique kind of playing. He played it the wrong way, but it made him a very specific, a unique sound, his own groove. And there's that one joke about the one artist and they ask him, how, how, how do you make a lion out of a rock? And it's just, just remove everything that doesn't look like a lion. <laughs> and that's it. Cheers. At least you'll sound like nobody else. You'll, you'll sound just like yourself, having no clue. And that's better than having a clue and sounding like everybody else. That's I, I make records with it. You don't make music with equipment, you make music with your ears. And I got a couple of really big ones. We were talking about keyboards, <coughs> weren't we? In the end, you don't need much, really. Try to know your equipment, what you want, and do what you want. Mm. Famous last words? Fuck the system. <laughs> um, put this on that, try this. Sounds good. Like I said, put everything in there and take everything away you don't need. But other than that, how you do it, who cares? The Beatles produced Sgt. Pepper on eight tracks, I believe. Was it eight? And boy, what an album. All they had was long hair and filthy fingernails. <laughs> the Namibian artist Tonetic caught our attention with his single Undefended. His new album Tones of Red is a highly sensual and full of emotion. A true soul pleaser. Please enjoy. Dreams made of anticipation, then a silent surrender. Dreams made of anticipation, White Miles, fresh off a European tour with Courtney Love, have released their album entitled, now listen to this title, it's called Job Genius Diagnose Madness, whatever that means. Especially appealing is Marcus Smaller's purely digital new album, Finally Home. Jessica, a melodic metal band from Vienna, yes, from our base. They recently unveiled their new album Coalescence, a legendary club 
known as U4 in Vienna. chance to meet Oregon-based artist Christopher Wirth, who performed an acoustic set at the singer-songwriter Circus. His rugged appearance stands in stark contrast to his heartfelt love songs. I'm Christopher Wirth. I go by the name Wirth for music. Okay, um, how would you describe your style of music? I call it bohemian blues hop. So like Otis Redding meets like Jeff Buckley maybe. Old blues soul with a variety of songwriting uh, lyrics and whatnot. I like to blast uh, just generally positive energy or heart opening energy of people with the music. It's about being extremely honest and letting go of any boundaries or expectations. That's what I like to bring into the bubble. I'm bringing you into that bubble right now. But you're bringing me into your bubble also, and your bubble feels good. I like his bubble. It's a good bubble. It's a really bright bubble and it's looking me in the face right now. <laughs> I'd also like to show you, uh, this is Lahiri Mahasaya. I'd like to refer to him for any further questions, although you can ask me a couple, but uh, you can talk to him uh, when you're meditating in the spiritual realm. He will answer any, uh, any problems you may have. <clears throat> um, now that you're in Vienna, is this part of a bigger tour? Yeah, I'm touring over the rest of Austria and a couple dates in Germany and Switzerland. This will be the fourth tour here. I have a third one really based in Vienna. It's my first time going alone. So I got my own little car and I brought my keyboard and my suitcase. Completely overstacked with gear, but I'm building muscle. So that's good. I got my yoga mat in my suitcase. Sounds very relaxing, yeah? Yes. Is the tour, is the reason for the tour a new album you're promoting? Is there some new releases? Kind of, yeah. I, I, I'm in the middle of a trilogy of records that I'm doing, which he's got back there. He's holding a couple of them. This is the second one. I just released this. This was the last tour. So this is the second one. There are three of them. The third one is not done yet. But in the meantime, I'm kind of rebuilding the band with a new vision, and I thought it'd be cool to release less produced, more naked, simple versions of things. So I have a new CD with me called The Trove Demos, which is a couple off of that, a couple off the first record. That guy's on it. He's, you hear that tone? Best tone, best tone, he's out there. Uh, and then a couple new ones. So tonight I'm playing two off of that. There'll be a lot more piano and stuff, but it's, it's supposed to be more naked and raw, back to just playing alone, and that's kind of what this tour is, so just, back to the bare bones songs and the voice and the piano and the guitar, basically. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Remember. Always remember. Don't forget who you are. <laughs> All right, then, in honor of the short sets, let's get going with some more positivity. So sometimes, you know, I was thinking that all the love songs I wrote were sad. And I think secretly this one is still sad, which sucks. Because it was the one I was like, well, that one's not going to be sad. I'm going to fix this problem. I also wrote this song for a hybrid of women. You don't always write a song for one woman, and if you're with a woman, they think it's about them. And if it's not about them, it's trouble. But this was kind of a, about the first girl and the last girl I dated. Yeah, we're just gonna lay, raise the lighters up. That's a great idea. If anyone has a lighter or a match, please raise it up. Just don't throw it on the floor for the venue sake. This song's called Let's Make It Last. As I called you my first, I will call you my last. You're the only one I can never move back. The woman I love is no one else can, and no one else can. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm Yola B, and we will be back soon with the next episode of rockvideos.at on air. Let us know what you think and leave us a comment below. Below, below, below. And now the auto queue is done. So thank you very much. Take care and see you whenever we see you again. Ain't that just so for shit she's singing there? Mm -mm -mm. I like it. Anyway. Yes. And, uh... <laughs> and you felt like it. I felt like it. Yes. You're and you, 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 okay. you, you, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Yes, she knows. Right. right. You ready? Great. Hi. No, you should say something. <laughs>
klarar att blomma en liten worth om vi blir med. Nej, facka! Ja! And in English it's called Lalit. Lalit. Lalit, by the way. Fucking rock videos, AT on. Okay, once again. Hello, my name is Pia and you're watching rock videos, AT on air. Christopher Worth from the US in an acoustic set, his rugged. Rugged. Rugged appearance. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Week. Yeah. Ciao. Schön dich zu treffen. Viel Spaß. Sorry about. <laughs> das ist gute Einkant. Rock on. Das ist echt cool, oder? Rock on. One, once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. What is up? We are on air. With Nikki's cover of Let It Go from Disney's amazing new oh, masterpiece, yeah. Frozen. Oh, let it go, let it go, let it go. I want with the wind and snow. Okay. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> and snow is your key. Mach mal die James Hetfield Version davon. Let it go, let it go, let it go. One with the wind and snow. Let him sing, good girl. We always have to be. Don't feel to let them know. Well, now they know. Let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. Let it go, let it go. <laughs> You'll never bother me anyway. Well, you can sing better than I can, that's for sure. <laughs> I just like to. The spotlight does things to me, you know.